Hey guys, how's it going? Um, first of all, a huge, huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed. I just hit a thousand subscribers, um, which means I can now start uh, monetizing the video and hopefully making more content as I'll be more motivated to. Um, so I really appreciate it. Um, secondly, I didn't release a Northern Realms um, patch note. I was looking at Northern Realms um, for a while and I was going to release it. And then what happened was they leaked the patch notes from China and it kind of felt redundant to propose my patch notes when we already had um, patch notes. Um, also, I don't really have a good understanding of Northern Realms, um, so I feel like I just didn't do a good job of it. Alright, so um, without further ado, I'm going to review the proposed PTR patch notes and go over a couple of things, um, a couple of key omissions, and talk about uh, some of the changes. Uh, first of all, thank you to um, Top Deck. I found the full list of patch notes on their Twitter, um, so big thanks to them. Alright, so Philavandril, 3 to 4. Um, don't like it. Like, obviously the card is, or the leader is bad, but I'd rather them rework the leader to something playable, rather than just an RNG Fiesta. They don't want to go in that direction. I think that anything that they figure isn't very playable, they are buffing by a point. Like, I don't know, that seems to be the theme, as we'll find out later on in the patch notes, that whatever they deem not playable is, um, one point more, which I don't really agree with. Alright, so, uh, Yorbeth, uh, deals 8 damage instead of 6, and it is 6 points, this is a good change, um, kills engines now, which is good, and, yeah, I like this change. This is a, this is a, an example of where point increases are good, because it changes the role of the card, um, to be able to suit, to do what it was meant to do in the current metagame. Um, you know, it's just fixing it around the, the power creep that we had. Uh, Aglace point reduce, or oh, it needed a nerf, um, like, I don't think this is enough, but we'll see. Now, Banish is the card that resurrects from the opponent's graveyard, if you're not aware, this stops things like stealing, like, a rune stone, and then using Ethne to resurrect it, but the other thing that it really does is that in the mirror, if you have an Aglace via Glace, whoever Aglaces first, the opponent won't be able to Aglace back. So, it creates an interesting dynamic in the, the Scoia'tael versus Scoia'tael mirror. But I'd like to see it reduce more. But we'll see. Uh, Yolveth Med can now force two units, only force two units on the same row to duel each other. Uh, this is a pretty big nerf. Um, some people are saying it kills the card. I don't think it kills it. It just makes it a lot harder and a lot more specific to play. Um, you can actually play around the card, but I think it'll still see some play in some movement decks. Um, aside from that, probably won't see any play. But the card was w ridiculously too strong beforehand, um, so I'm kind of glad they nerfed it in this way. Uh, Morin, um, 9, deal 7, still a shit card. Like, it, it doesn't activate before Battlecry. It's just points, but the points are conditional. For instance, if you think your opponent's played a Morin, just, you know, don't play a unit that's 7 damage, just drop like a 4 damage unit, a 4 health unit or something. Uh, Yarpen, point increase. This is a common theme that we're going to see. Um, when they see that a card isn't played, they give it a point increase. Uh, the problem with Yarpen is that everything that breathes on it kills it right now. Um, I, like, I think it needs a different style or something. I don't know. But I think Yarpen probably won't see too much play still. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, sorry, my scroll wheel is very heavy. Uh, Dwarven Agitator 2 to 1. This is a good change. This is exactly what I suggested. Alvin Scout 2 to 1. This is a good change, but I don't think it's enough. Um, I think that they should only have, you know, as I said in my previous video, two options when creating. But at least it's a start. Um, Mahakam Guard, um, 9 to 4 boosts an ally by 7 instead of 3. So this is a 1 point nerf. Um, and it also makes the card slightly more conditional. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is a weird change.
I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, Half Elf Hunter copies are now doomed. I don't really get it, but sure. Um, I'm not sure what the logic was. I don't know what that it really affects, but it happened. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Dwarven Skirmisher boosts self by three instead of strengthening by three. So this is where I have a problem. Um, they they chose to nerf Skirmisher rather than nerfing Poli. Um, don't like it. I would rather them nerf Poli because now every dwarf that is created in perpetuity will have to be balanced around being resurrected. Um, and I think it just creates design problems. And I think, again, you're blurring faction lines. Obviously, it's a pretty big nerf to Poli, but... Uh, yeah, I don't like the approach that they took. Um, maybe it's just something they're doing in the short term, and in the long term they're going to nerf Poli and then, you know, rework him, and then, you know, they have more design space. Alright, uh, Dwarven Merc, 7 to 8. Card was just completely power crept. I think that's fine. Movement took a bit of hits. Alright, Skellige. Iced, 4 to 5. Good buff. That's the best new leader in terms of design, I think. Him, 4 to 3, good. That card is obnoxious as shit. Um, even without creating spies, I think it's too strong. Uh, Restore now adds a Doom tag to the resurrected unit. This is a really good change and probably the one I'm most happy about seeing. Um, yeah, I, I really like this change. It prevents, you know, 20 point bronzes being resurrected over two, two rounds and stuff like that. Um, Restore will still see play for sure, uh, but. You know, it's not going to be game-breaking. Um, alright. Champion of... Hov. <laughs> champion of Hov. I guess that's the arena champion or whatever is what it's been renamed to. Can now duel higher or equal enemies? Uh, probably won't see any play. I don't know. It's just not a great card. Um, it, I like the design, but I don't think it will see any play. Uh, Churisak Veteran now has a soldier tag. This is pretty... Pretty fucking important. Um, it gives Battle Maidens the opportunity to, you know, tutor them. It gives Priestess of Freyas the opportunity to resurrect them. It gives Ice the opportunity to summon them. And basically, this single-handedly resurrects the Veteran Archetype. So, um, I support this change. Um, I just think we need to keep an eye on uh, how powerful Veterans are at the same time. Um, as I suggested, if you're doing this change, you might want to nerf the points on veterans at the same time, but we can see. Clan Greatsword, 7 to 8. Uh, like, again, the, rather than, you know, like, doing anything to rework the cards that are not seeing play, they're just increasing them by a point. You'll see this over and over and over. Um, Unseen, alright, let's go to Monsters. Uh, Unseen Elder, 4 to 5, still a hunk of crap. It's still just a doo-doo with plus five. Like, I don't know, it's just garbage. But again, not seeing play, so what do they do? They buff it by a point. With Spring Hillock, not seeing play, what do they do? They buff it by a point. Um, Kran, six to five. Uh, consuming unit with seven or lower boost and boost itself by its power instead of six. So this is what I proposed, except they've done seven instead of eight, and I had lower strength when it was an eight, which is fine. It's a step in the right direction. Uh, there's a, like, a few engines at 7, like the siege support and stuff, um, so, you know, it might help, but, I don't, I don't, I think we'll see currency play at least now. Um, Karanthir, 8 to 9, again, they don't know, like, the unit doesn't see play, what do we do? We buff it by a point and hope. Um, Monster Nest does not boost the spawn unit by 3 anymore, like, Monster Nest is a really good card, but, like... I think this might be overkill, like, maybe reduce the power by, like, two, boosted by one or something. I don't know. Monster Nest got a huge buff when Barbagazi was printed, um, because Barbagazi can be hit, so Monster Nest always has the flexibility, but, like, Monster Nest, like, this is actually nerfed to Whispering Hillock, by the way, because Monster Nest was really the only thing you wanted from it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd rather them, you know, nerf other stuff in Monsters than Monster Nest. I think they've nerfed the wrong card. Um, Mithril Rework now deals one damage for every Wild Hunt unit in hand. Oh, man, it's just... Like, yeah, you picked, a, you picked a card that wasn't seeing play and you reworked it. But now you made the card arguably even worse. Like, 
this is what I would like to see them do. So I'm really happy that they've cho chosen to do this. Like, reworking the cards, great idea, but, you know, at least make it playable. Like, think it through. Like, the points on Nithril don't add up. It's still garbage. It's still always going to be worse than a Viper Witcher. Like, it's just it's just an awful, awful card. Um, Morvid, again, cards not seeing play. Raise it by a point. Efreet, cards not seeing play. Raise it by a point. Still worse than Jermaine, by the way. The neutral equivalent. Um, yeah. Slizzard, sorry, mouse wheel. Slizzard, 3 to 2. Uh, good enough, but you'll notice we don't see anything about Necker Warriors or Neckers in here. The only nerf to consume was Slizzard by a point. So, yeah. Expect a lot of consume. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just, you know. The only reason we wouldn't see consume is if Nilfgaard Spies, which we'll get to, is everywhere and they're, <laughs> and they're taking in spheres. But yeah, expect a lot of consume. Um, Nilfgaard Treason reworked for us two adjacent units to duel each other. Um, this card is interesting, but like probably bad. Like the the way I see it ever being played is your opponent plays an eight strength unit. You put a Cantorella next to it. You use Treason, and then the Treason is like roughly twenty. Um, but like to be a Nilfgaard Silver, you have to be fucking amazing. And I don't think this card cuts it. I think this card would be better suited in something like Scoyatel or Monsters where they have movement to actually take advantage of this. Um, yeah, we don't have that, so... We don't have that in Nilfgaard, so it probably won't see play. Slave Driver 2 to 1, again, um, same as Elven Scout. Like, this is a good step in the right direction, but the card will probably still be strong, too strong. Um, copies are now doomed. I don't think this makes much of a difference, except for with Ointment. Um, Rot Tosser... Again, doesn't see play. What do we do? We buff it by a point. Like, you could probably count the amount... I'm going to go actually go back and count the amount of times that this happens. Um, Northern Realms. Also, wait, just real quick, we'll notice that Enforcer hasn't been touched. What the flying fuck? <laughs> How? How do you not nerf Enforcer? Come on. Like, what the hell? This is just mind-boggling to me. Like... Welcome to the Nilfgaard metagame, boys. Um, I might do a whole video on why why it's retarded that they didn't nerf <laughs> Enforcer. Like, it's so ridiculous that they, they, they're not touching this card. This card is so utterly broken, and they've just completely ignored it and neglected to change it. I'm pretty sure someone in CDPR, like, just has a, like, raging, raging erection for Nilfgaard and will, will Nilfgaard spies and just doesn't want to nerf them. Alright, so, Shani... Northern Realm, Shani nerfed, um, I kind of wanted Shani to be changed, but I didn't have, like, I didn't have the balls to do it, because, because Northern Realms is in such a bad spot, but, um, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, it is, Shani's still gonna be in every Northern Realms deck, right? I don't know. Selkirk doesn't see play, what do we do? We increase it by a point. Um, Vincent... Okay, I know which card. Yeah, okay. Doesn't see play. Increase it by a point. Reaver Hunter. Doesn't see play. Increase it by a point. Field Medic. Doesn't see play. Increase it by two points. What? I don't know, man. Like, where, the, where is the creativity? Where is, like... Why will these cards see play now? Like, they're a point more. Cool. They're still shit. They're still awful design. Um, I, I feel like this, this list is missing a couple things. Like, I feel like I read that Ointment doesn't heal anymore, and I feel like I read that, uh, like, Vez got buffed by a point or something as well. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure if this is fully complete. Siri Nova, strengthened to 22 instead of 25. This is dumb. Um, we're still going to be seeing a lot of Siri Nova, boys. Uh... It's clear that they like the play pattern of Siri Nova being dropped at the very end, but they don't like people holding Igni. And then, like, I guess that it makes Lasse matter less, because, like, Igni doesn't hit it anymore. But, you know what else does? Scorch or Shiro. So, I think this just 
like it's kind of a buff in a weird way like i don't know it's a buff if you lose the coin flip like maybe this is how they approach the coin flip like avalark the sage doesn't see play what do we do increase it by a point nian con doesn't see play what do we do increase it by a point commander's horn um boost five adjacent units by three instead of four uh yeah this is fair enough like i think horn has been probably too strong for a while i don't know i like i'd like to see it play out um i'd like to see how it plays out basically summoning circle cannot copy spies anymore this is like what should have happened four months ago and is a really good idea lesser demons now banishes instead of discarding is that a nerf to that card like really i don't know Stalifert's Tremors well, does not spawn a golem and killing unit anymore. You'll notice that they chose to not change Ithlene and have chosen to keep Ithlene in design problem space forever as well. Um, apparently Tremors was the problem even though nobody ever ran Tremors as a card by itself. Uh, like just knife Ithlene, guys, not Tremors. Um, Doppler lost its organic tag. Apparently we needed to nerf Herbalist into Doppler over Enforcers. That was the problem, guys. It was Herbalist into Enforcer. Uh, it was Herbalist into Doppler, not Enforcers. So, now that that's been fixed, we can play Gwent again. Alright, let's count the amount of one-point increases. Uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, well, let's, let's count that, it's a two point increase, 15, 16, 17. So there's 17 cards that they felt were only underplayed because they were a point less. Alright, that's the patch notes guys. Um, Hopefully, I'm wrong, but I think we're going to see Nilfgaard Spies played a lot. I think we're going to see Searing Nova played a lot. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be our life. Probably veterans as well, if they're, you know, too strong. But the thing is, Nilfgaard Spies happens to counter veterans, because, you know, you have three Vicode Medics. And you just ping, 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 take all the veterans. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Um, again, thanks everybody for subscribing for... Uh, my 1,000 views, I appreciate it, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Cheers.